Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. And I think on this time, we're going to come back to Slovakia. We have not been to this particular fishery in a while. There have been a lot of changes that have been made to the game just since I have last played. Uh, there's, I don't know what all this stuff about tokens is. What this This is new. <laughs> and we've got some changes with some of the way the uh, menu looks here. I'm not sure what all this token stuff is, but kind of curious. Let's see, what is it? What does this do? XP boost, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Is this something you can purchase? Boost, what the heck does this mean? This is, boost this, boost, I guess cash. I guess you get cash bonuses and XP bonuses. Maybe you get them for doing the uh, competitions. I don't know exactly, but that is brand new. I'm kind of interested to know a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'll figure it out along the way. But if I don't, let me know in the comments below if you've been if you've encountered these. But let me see here. I haven't got any points to set to spend on my skills yet, but I've been doing pretty well. I'm up to level 19. I still haven't gotten to the uh, Russian map yet, which is where I want to get to. Uh, my understanding is there's still been some problems with some of the programming at the higher levels. I hadn't encountered it in the last um, time I had played the game, but I think it's okay at Keel Canal, but past that I couldn't tell you for sure. But it looks like we've got some daily quests here that we can compete in. We've got some weekly quests, but I don't have the, the points to to get any of those yet. I need to complete some of these missions first. Let's see, a 26.46 of a single species garfish. We're going to change that. Sea trout, well, I can't get that here. Uh, single species of European bass, we can't change that. Well, we can catch this many fish of a given species here. Looks like the other two are specifically for Keel Canal or maybe some other place later on. All right, well we are here, and this is spawn point four on the map. This is one that uh, Delacabed showed me a while back, and he started the game over, so he's going to be going through. Apparently, there's been a lot of changes to the first map yet again since the last time I was there. They just, they just keep improving it. I'm getting really impressed with this game. They've really been making some good changes here. This one looks relatively the same which is I think good one of the things I like about this one is you can walk right into the water it's real shallow I assume you're gonna have like uh, waders or something but I wanted to walk out here where that bridge is and cast out from underneath it see if we can't get some kind of big fish here going now check my inventory. Let's see, I've got float rod with a dragonfly. I'm going to probably need a waggler on there. No, I've got I've got an R floats river, so that should work if we decide to float fish. we got dragonfly, grasshopper. These are all good baits for this particular waterway, but I think I'm going to do some spin casting first, and that might be what I do in this episode. I might stick with spin casting for now. So let me go ahead and take out my third rod. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of lag, and that does seem to happen with this. This game uses shaders, 
So it does take a little while for everything to get loaded in as things spawn, especially the fish are spawning. But we're going to see what we can do. Yeah, one of my friends, J.D. Kempton, is... I don't know if he's got this game yet or is he interested in getting the game, but I, he's kind of a casual player. And for casual players, this game is probably a must. This, this I think, is really good for casual players. But there's... I'm going to take the U here. I need to take the speed down to 20... Yeah, let's go with 20 here. Should be able to get it in the green there. There we go. The Seuss Goose has been real popular with the species here. See? There we go. Got us a rainbow trout. It seems like they've gotten it even clearer underwater now. It used to be kind of fuzzy, but you can really see that guy. Just hit U and you go back to the top. Yeah, he was asking me... No, actually, I actually think he was asking Dua about the camera view. Yeah, you don't have to have it underwater all the time if you don't want to. And usually when I'm fighting the fish, I will go back to the surface. That way I can see how much tension is actually on my, my gear. But my drag is at 76%, which isn't too bad. But we're going to speed it up. You can hit control and speed up that reeling. Get that sucker in here a little bit faster. There we go. Now that's new. I like that. They changed the picture part of this. I like that. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. I noticed that on Doulas. That was must be a recent change. Now they give you all the stats. Like this is a one star. And you can hide the UI so you can get a picture. Let's see. Hit G. Yeah. Perfect. I like that. That is an... Yeah, she is wearing waders. See? <laughs> okay. Cool. I like that a lot. Much better. So it gives me 8.23 pounds. That's the depth. I guess we caught it at in the time. 50 XP. And it tells us how full our net is. Well, we're going to go ahead and keep him. And the rainbow trout, there, there's a lot of them here. But if we can get something like a Hudson, they bring a lot more money. A lot of different lures you can use. And... This is probably one of my favorites for this location. Works really well at Keel Canal as well. All of the Salmonoides species seem to go for it. Salmonoides meaning obviously salmon, but also trout species. There we go. Got us a brown trout there. Let's get him in a little bit faster here if we can. Yeah, I've got some pretty heavy-duty gear here. I spent a little bit of money and got a one of those kits a while back. There he is. He's 8.91. He is not even a one star. So, but he still brought in $70. <laughs> I can live with that. Now, might switch over to a different lure because I believe I bought another Seuss Goose that was bigger. And if there, if I don't have it, I think I might get a bigger one. I want to see if I can get a bigger fish. That was a grayling. 
Yeah, that was a grayling, without a doubt. That was a grayling. Saw that fin. They have that long fin, dorsal fin. They are such a pretty fish. But you can spin this camera around like this, and you can see it from all angles. I love that. Really immerses you into the game. There's a. That's an asp. There we go, another rainbow. I was getting ready to wonder if anything was going to go for me. Alright, let's get him in here real quick. Okay, he might be decent sized. Let's see here. Come on. Uh, he's only nine dollars. One star. Okay, let's see. We've got some of we got another rod here that's already set up. I've got the Robinson trophy on here. This is another good one. A lot of the fish here really go for it. I've got that Christmas rod that I got from uh the Christmas event. I'm gonna go ahead and use that, but that's in my fifth spot. Woo! A little bit of lag there. Okay, it spun me around when I did that. Where, where the heck am I? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of lost my bearings there for a minute. Increase our speed here. 22, that's a good speed for these lures. Now the. Ooh, there we go. Nice brown trout. Nice brown trout. Well, he's pretty. That's a good size asp right there. Alright, let's get him in. Ooh. Okay. This one this one's more impressive. Alright, we may need to take our drag up just a bit. There you go. Now he's He's big and he's a lot bigger. He's still only a one star, but he's a lot bigger than the other one that was not worth that much. $143. It's not bad. Don't know if I'm going to take a picture of any of these yet. What is that on her mouth? I'm not sure what that's about. Huh. That's weird. Alright, we'll keep him. Okay, we've been throwing under the bridge. Let's try throwing over here. There was a couple of interesting fish over here too. You see how shallow this is? Yeah, there's a lot of asp here, so I might get that asp lure. I have a lure that's specific just for them. It does catch a lot of other species too. There we go. Rainbows go for everything. They don't care. <laughs> but you can get some decent sized rainbows out of here. There 
we go. Nah, they're not worth as much. Let me see about that asp spoon. Let's see, where is that? Here it is, Robinson asp spoon. That should get us... Hmm. Every time you change it, that just really gets lag when you do that. But I saw quite a few asp over there. There are other things that go for this too, not just the asp. And, and the rainbow trout go for it. I thought there was Atlantic salmon here, but I may have to look at the front screen. Maybe there aren't. Yeah, rainbow trout. <laughs> you will get a lot of the rainbow trout. Yeah, I'd like to get a really big one, like a five star. Ten dollars. And every little bit helps. Let's see here. Still, I'd like to get one of those ones that give you, you know, 50 XP or something. <laughs> See a lot more grayling. There we go. I think that is an Atlantic salmon there. Let's see here. Yeah, he's a much bigger fish. No, it's a Hutchin. I'm sorry. $60. He is not even a big one. He's a baby. What is that? That is so weird. What is that little round red thing at her mouth? That is so strange. Okay. Get rid of that. Alright. We'll keep him. I did see some ass over there. Yep, I was wondering if I overthrew it. There we go. Let's see if we can't find an asp. That's one right there. So I'm hoping that he goes for it, but I guess he changed his mind. Ah, uh, rainbow trout. Not even a big one. Three bucks. Seems like they've nerfed the prices down just a little bit on some of these, though. Yeah, if we go over downstream just a little bit, we might be able to get a little bit more of the Hutchin. Oh, come on, don't give me another rainbow. 
mind that. Yep. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, I think we might move downstream. We're getting a lot of rainbow trout around here. Let's see here. Check the map. I think it's down here at five. I think that's where I found a lot of asp down here. We're on the other side of the bridge, but this is the end of the the fishery here. If I remember correctly, there were a lot of asp over here. Let's see, what is that? Is that a Hutchin? I think it is. Yep, I think it is. So this is going to be good cash, even if it's small, which I think it is kind of small. Yeah, it's a little guy. Nine bucks. The last one I got was fifty dollars, so big difference. Oh wow, I'm like in the grass here. What is that? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, not very realistic. We should have gotten a snag. There's no snagging in this game so far. You can throw it on the other bank. You don't have to worry about it at all. Oh, now we're going to drag the fish on the shore. There we go. fish. There's one swimming around right in front of me there. I haven't seen any asps. Once I started using this lure, I haven't seen a single one. Plenty of others. Ooh, now that one's not, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see what, how big he is. I didn't, I never saw the Hutchin on this side of things. So that has changed a little bit. Come on, fella. Okay, he is $43, so he's considerably bigger. but not huge. I want to throw this out. Yeah, cause see, I keep seeing this one swimming around close to me, and I'm starting to... I want to catch this fish. Let's see if I can garner his attention here. Oh, okay. Ooh, there we go. That's a brook trout, if I'm not mistaken. That's cool. Nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That is a nice brook trout. Yeah, I 
think I'm going to actually get a picture of him. If I can. There we go. There's that fish. He's just moseying around right there. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to change our lure. I think we're going to change it to something a little bit bigger. Let's see, this one's... There's the rider frog. That's a topwater lure. I don't know how well that's going to do. We had originally... Wait a minute, let's see here. Switch over to three. That's 10.5 grams. Okay. I think this is a bigger lure. Yeah, this is 14 grams. Let's switch over to that. It's a little bit bigger. Might check the shop and see if there's any bigger ones than that. That's a first retrieve where I haven't caught a fish. So either it's too big for them or they don't like that lure. I'm not seeing any fish. I'm looking around, I'm seeing nothing. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's get this in and let's go downstream again. We were at four. Might try over here by two. This is a very rocky area. A lot of big bull. Getting some lag again. A lot of big fish here. I'll try casting this way first. Yeah, nothing is going for this lure, guys. I mean, I have cast it and recast it and nothing has gone for it so far. I'm going to try one more time, give it at least one more shot here, but I don't think it's catching anything. Maybe it's just too big. Maybe it just doesn't attract the species here. That's a Sakura Suscous blade, 14 grams. It's just a little bit bigger than the other one I was using, which was catching one right after another. See, there's an asp, which we were looking for earlier. But yeah, it's not attracting any fish here. You can 
retrieve it quickly with a hit of the Q there. Some things they just don't go for. I mean, you, you never know. I mean, <laughs> thinking maybe we're not going to have a whole lot of luck with the larger lures. So, we'll try this bug. Let's try the bug and see what that does. All right, Lagarino there. <laughs> this white bug was successful the last time I used it here, so we'll see if it still is. Obviously, this is a topwater lure. Yeah, I'm not getting any takers at all. Wow, huh. Big change. There's a decent fish right there. Let's see, we do have that one still on there. Let's go ahead and switch to our... So we did see some asps. We weren't seeing them on the other side of things, so maybe they'll go for this asp spoon. Asp spoon, that's not easy to say. <laughs> There we go. That's a nice Hudson. Yeah, I'm not seeing the Atlantic Salmon here anymore. I think they took them out. Okay, this guy is decent size. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish, guys. This is a nice fish. Okay, we can take our drag up a little bit. Don't want to take it too much, but... Oh yeah, this is a nice fish, guys. There we go. $141. Now we're talking. New personal record for Hutchin, too. He's still only a one star. Damn. That's incredible. Yeah, he's still only a one star. Can't even imagine that. And my keep net is almost full. We're going to have to probably sell some of these guys. Let's see here. Let's go to the fishing net. Open fishing net here. Yeah, we got all kinds of fish in here, guys. <laughs> Hutch and rainbow trout. Hutch and rainbow trout. Okay, we're going to sell them all. That's $598.72. Yeah, let's try this again, because that, that was a lot better. Yeah, since this is an earlier map, it may just be that the larger lures just don't work here. I need to go through and cycle through some of these lures off screen just to see what if anything goes for what but I have not seen a single Atlantic salmon here they did have them here a while back oh I want that brown trout 
but I don't think he's going to go for this. Yeah, we got another hutch in here. Alright. This fellow's not very big, though. Yeah, see, he's only $12. This is a really good rod. It casts really far. Got that for free during the Christmas event. That was great. It's not like a super heavy rod, but it's decent. Middle of the road. We've got us a rainbow trout egg on it. <laughs> Come on. Goofy fish. I'm just going to let him go. He's small. I mean, two bucks. I mean, you know, let him go. <laughs> I think as the number of stars increases with the fish, as that does so does their value. Oh. There we go. Well, that gun I had our ass right there and happy pants had to go for it. Ah, release him too. Yeah, they're worth more as XP than they are of cash. See, there's one right there. Come on, dude. It's your kind of lure. There's another Hutchin. There's another one. They're not even showing any interest at all. He did. Okay, now we got us a fish. Yeah, we got us a fish here, guys. This one's got some oomph to him. I actually have to fight this guy. Alright, we got him. Another personal record, 145. 26.37 pounds. He's still only a one star. Well, let me see here. We're going to getting close to about ending this here. I'm going to take a look at what I've got lore-wise here. Just seems strange that the ass lure is not catching the asps. <laughs> I understand that. That's really weird. Okay, looks like we got an award, so I think it's because we got, yep, $50 for that. Yeah, I don't think these are going to do very good here. Alright guys, this time I'm going to try this Sakura Dynastic. This, uh, this is apparently quite popular with the store. If you check on here in the shop, one of the kits that you can get here is this 
one for 6806 comes with a whole slew of them and I've got this one that's blue I think there's a red tipped one as well might have that one as well if I don't have it yeah here it is let's try the red tip one anyway I think that's gonna stand out just curious to see if this is gonna work here it did work over a keel canal the salmon went for it and so did the sea trout I want to see if they seem interested in here but there are no salmon in here at all so apparently they have been removed now this is a top water lure so I'm kind of interested to see if anything will go for it I might move back over to spawn point four because I was getting a lot more of the larger uh, Hutchin and Salmonoides species over there ass just don't seem to be going for anything I don't know if they've changed what they're attracted to the ass spoon didn't even seem to even they even seem to notice it that is a full presentation of fully green and nothing seems to even be showing any interest because I'm not seeing a whole lot of fish here which is kind of strange and the only way to know for sure is just to try it because this game is evolving on a non-stop basis that's good it's good that it's doing that I see there is a nice looking fish right there as an asp maybe the asps were just going for float float stuff you know float rod stuff whoa thank god I hate when it does that okay wait a minute I'm on the where where's the bridge <coughs> the bridge is not there that is really strange it has disappeared <laughs> it should be there that is weird yeah it's it's the bridge is gone Yeah, nothing's going for this, guys. Let's try. Let's try a spinner. Got that one's a little big. Let's try the smaller, the silver one. Where is it here? Here it is. I'm gonna jump over here. Okay, it's back. <laughs> that was strange. Okay. Yeah, the bridge just disappeared. Also, I wasn't seeing any fish either. It's like some kind of a glitch, maybe? I don't know. That was weird you saw it, it was gone now they did go for this in the past so they should still go for the spinners
Yeah, the ass was. There we go. Yeah, they did. They do still go for them. Which you know, a rainbow trout will. Yeah, I'm just. I've been mostly releasing the rainbow trout. I'm gonna try throwing that a little. Not quite as far. Gosh, it's still cast far. There we go. Boom. <coughs> Brook trout. Nice little brook trout. He's one star. We'll keep him. We'll keep him. Let's try over this direction this time and I think we're going to have time to call this an episode. We have gone a little bit over. Like I said, they have changed a lot here. They've removed one of the species. I don't think they've added any, but... I would be interested to see if I can get the ass with the, with the float rod, though. That's another rainbow. Ooh. Actually, this is a decent sized rainbow. This is the this may be the biggest one I've caught today. Yeah, usually you don't get that much pressure from them. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. He's a little bit bigger. Alright guys, well, the only other thing before I quit here I'm going to try, and then we're going to call it, call it quits. I think I'm going to try, well, I didn't try that Jimmy bug. Now, I did try the bigger one. I'm going to try this smaller topwater bug. I cannot for the life of me believe that they don't bite off of topwater lures at all here. That seems almost impossible. Now this has worked well for me in the past. The white one I thought did really well here, but that has seemingly changed. Yeah, uh, let me know guys if you've been playing this recently what has and has not changed because what are they going for? What is going on with the ass? Why are they not going for an ass spoon? That doesn't make any sense. some roach. Alright, that makes me feel a little bit better. Holy crikeys, okay. Oh my god! 
He broke it. He actually broke it. That was a big fish. I was trying to get the drag down in time. Oh my goodness. Whoa. What was he like? A freak of nature out of... <laughs> the hell? I'm going to have to buy me... <laughs> I'm going to have to buy an old... Holy crap. I've got to, I've got to try that again. Where is that lure? It's a jemmy bug. Here it is. Put that back on there. I want that fish. Holy crap. But I've got to take the drag down considerably. That was a big, big fish. And they're definitely going for this lure. So that is good. Makes me feel a little bit better. Except losing that fish just blows my mind. This one's a decent one too. Yeah, seven. He's a one star. That is that's good to know. That seems to be attracting the bigger the bigger rainbows. I thought they came bigger here, but I was just getting small ones. I really want that fish I lost. My god, that was huge. <coughs> Okay, so the Sakura Jimmy Bug 30F. That's like two grams. It's a little bitty, little bitty bug. There we go. Oh my goodness, there he is. That's our buddy. That is our friend. But we need to get it. Holy crap! Holy crap! We got us a decent sized rainbow. And we need to put a little more tension on this, but I think I might be able to walk up to him and lift him out of the water if I'm careful. There we go. Oh my god! <laughs> New personal record. Check this fella out, guys. He's only $34, but he is a big fish. Much better, guys. That is what we're talking about. That's what we want right here, guys. That is a nice fish. Oh my goodness. I'm liking that. Wow. Yeah, I think we're keeping him. I think we're keeping him. I'm not putting him in the trophy room. He isn't quite that big, but he's up there. I do have a four star fish in the trophy room. That's the biggest I've ever got of any fish. But this bug, it is a rainbow trout killer, apparently. The big ones really like it. I'm going to take that drag down just a bit. Yeah, 
apparently so do the brook trout here. Actually, he's decent. He's got a little pressure on it, which usually the brook trout don't. There's another personal three stars. There's a, there you go, guys. Three stars. Well, I think I just found my favorite lure for this location. I tell you, I think I just found it. Without a doubt. Gonna have to test this out, see if we can't get something bigger off screen. There you go, guys. Very nice. Alright, well, we learned a few things, guys. It looks like the bugs, you have to keep the bugs under 4 grams, you have to keep the regular lures under 10 grams. Otherwise, you're not going to catch them. There's got to be another type of lure that's going to be a killer, but I haven't found it yet. Just going to have to test different lures and see what the fish are going for. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I certainly did. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.